In this video, we're going to show you how to set up a shortcut on your desktop that's going to explain what all those loop and segments are. So when you get a rejection in revenue management or from your clearinghouse or even from the insurance company, most of the time they're going to include it was rejected for a certain loop and segment number. And this is going to help you make heads or tails and how to actually fix it. So first thing we want to do is on the, the desktop, we go to an empty spot where there are no icons and right click and choose new shortcut. And then we're going to browse onto this PC. We're going to go to our Metasoft folder and the bin and we're going to scroll down until we get to that one file. And it's one of those files that's kind of hard to find unless you know what you're looking for. We're going to look for Metasoft Help A-I-I-A-N-S-I. -I -I. Okay, and then we click on Next. And we're going to name this, just to make it easier, Loops. And then click Finish. And there's our desktop shortcut to those loop and segments. So when we get that rejection, and let's say that it was going to be on loop, here we go, let's just go pick one out of random, loop two. 1000B segment HL, we click on that and it's going to tell you everything about where that loop and segment is. It tells you right here it's, if it's loop and segment HL01, it tells you all this stuff. Uh, the most common one is 2010AB, pay to provider name, it tells you here again where it all is. So if it's loop 2010AB segment NM. And two tells you right here, segment's not used. For the segment N3, it tells you where it's pulling from, practice information. Okay, so it's saying here, if it was rejected because of loop 2010 AB segment N3, then we're going to know that it's probably the pay to address one, and this is where you find it. It's going to be in the practice information, practice pay to tab, street one. So it tells you exactly where that loop and segment is pulling from so you can repair it, resubmit the claim, and get that claim paid. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and found it helpful. If you did, let us know by giving us a thumbs up by clicking on the like button below. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to write those in the comment section below. And if you want to get more helpful videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks!